Here's a review of the chords and twist and shout. So the first one is D, and it's D, this middle one called F sharp, and A. So it's those three, D. Look for the two black keys. It's D, okay. And then G, which is all white keys, these three. So another way to kind of get your fingers used to the feel is try it always. Like the first note going up, one after the other like that. Maybe even that way, just sort of get the use of the feel of it. Get your fingers more um, you know, limber, whatever you want to call it. And it's the A chord, which is A. And again, like we mentioned in class, it helps if you, with your left hand, it's your pinky on that first note, just practice going like that and then noticing, looking, I'm visualizing, looking at the G right here, I find it. Take all the time you need to find it. Just got it. So you have your D, you know, D is right here. Take all of the time you need to find that G. So I think you're skipping over two, right? Oops, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and then find your G, and then bring your hand over. And of course, it's the next door neighbor. And then this one, look at your location. Keep your eyes focused on here while your, your pinky is here. And then bring it down. And then with the three notes all together. Just practice that shape of your hand. Okay. And it's this part of your finger. It's not necessarily like that claw. It's slightly angled. Like that. Okay. And if you do it with your right hand, find the D with your thumb. Again, visualize, notice the G's right here. It's after the first, that's after next door neighbor to this. And then move it. There's the G. Okay. Now I don't have three hands and I'm not using a tripod, but you can try for variation for adding a little challenge we talked about in class one hand doing the chord and the other one doing what's called the chord root which is so like for the D your other hand could play the just the D to give it that fuller sound while the right hand's playing the chord and then same when you change to the, the G chord is right there it helps if you can keep if you keep your hand here so we got the D Now, if you're really finding that difficult, you can do one at a time and move your hands together, like with just one finger. It's okay too, it helps you kind of get used to the distance. But if you feel like you got that down while you're doing the right hand chords, it's good to try this. So, pinky is on that D, and the fingers are all lined up. Now, your hands are going to want to do the same thing. So it's going to feel weird at first. Um, so like your right hand, if you're doing the chords, and the right is going to be traveling, and your left hand is going to stay here. But it, you'll get used to it. And you can do the other way around with your left hand with the chords, and your right hand just doing the chord roots, which is the first note of the chord, the bottom note, what gives it its name. So if you want to do the left hand chords and the right hand the roots. Oops. Hi. D, G, A. Again, D, G, A. And even to get your fingers, you know, accustomed, you could just sort of remind your fingers 
here it is, or do it the other way around, over here, if you're doing it down here. Anything to kind of build it into your nerve system, the, the muscles and nerves. And uh, I think that's it. If I think of anything else, I will post and uh, send another video along the way. Have fun. See you in a couple weeks.